So guys, after a hefty wait, Diablo 2 Resurrected has finally been released and in typical Blizzard style, the launch has been a bit of a flop. We've had server issues, we've had game creation issues, we've even had a map bug and for some lucky people, launch day characters were deleted. Well, anyway, it's been about a week since it was released and I can report that things are finally starting to stabilize. Now, I've played Diablo 2 since it came out in 2000 and I remember doing chores to save up my pocket money just to get enough money to buy the expansion, The Lord of Destruction. And don't get me wrong, I haven't done 10,000 pinball runs, my name's not Dabronski, but I do have my own way of getting rich and it's what you should be doing early game. It's uh, how you start from scratch to get rich as quick as possible. Uh, and I'd like to share it with you now guys. Ladder Season 1 hasn't started yet, so now's a good time to try this out and see if it works for you. Uh, check it out guys. So the first thing we're going to do is make a Sorceress. Sorceress has excellent mobility and is excellent for early level MF runs. So make yourself a Sorceress and level her up. Level up the Sorceress, join games, do Tristram runs, do Tomb runs, do Chaos runs, do Bale runs, do whatever it is you need to do to get to Hell level and get yourself to around about 75. Once you're around level 75, I'd recommend uh, respec into either Meteorb or Blizzard spec. Um, I would advise Blizzard spec because it's a lot more powerful, but in this video I'm using Orb purely because I'm lazy and AoE is quite easy with Orb. Have a look online, I'll drop some links for um, builds, but uh, I would really recommend Blizzard over Orb. So the second stage of this is to gear up and it's actually super easy. The first thing we're going to do is make a spirit sword. So in normal mode, and it's very important you do this in normal mode, make a cow level. If you don't know how to make a cow level, just go to Tristram, get a Wurt's leg off of Wurt's body, go get a tome portal and transmute them in your cube in act one. You should easily be able to kill the cows in normal, even with no gear. Uh, purely because of your level. Keep looking for a white crystal sword. You can use a broad sword if you like, but I prefer the crystal sword purely because of the aesthetics. Now once you have your crystal sword, you can take it over to Act 5 and kill Shank. Once you've killed Shank, head over to Larzak and he will add sockets to your weapons. A crystal sword or a broad sword found in normal will produce four sockets, which is what we need for a spirit sword. Now over the time that you've been leveling you should have acquired quite a few runes. The runes you're going to need to make spirit are a Tull, a Thul, an Aort and an Am. And if you haven't got them all, just do a few Countess runs. As I was missing a Thul rune, I had to do a few Nightmare Countess runs, but again, super easy when you're at level 75. Now guys, add the runes Tull, Thul, Aort and Am in that order. It's very important that you do it in that order. Now guys, we have the Spirit Sword, which is an incredible, easy to get, early game caster weapon. It's got an excellent stats such as 2 to all skills, 25% faster cast rate and 55% faster hit recovery. The cast rate will help you zoom around much faster with your teleport, hit recovery will save your ass many times when you by mistake teleport into mob packs and uh, it's also got good vitality and mana pool uh, adds so it's just all around super easy to get insanely good item now while we're looking for that crystal sword we should also be looking for a two socket breastplate and a two socket shield preferably both with low requirements uh, again you'll find them in normal cows with the two socket breastplate we're going to add a nef and a lum in that order to make the smoke rune road it's an excellent armor with a whopping 50% to all resistances, which is what you're gonna need later on in Hell. Again, it's also got faster hit recovery. The shield, you're gonna add Shale and F. This will add another 25% to your resistances and it'll also add things like mana regen and 25% magic find, which is quite important. Also, cannot be frozen. Again, it will save your ass many times. Now actually the rest of my gear is pretty basic. Um, the last item that you do need is to get yourself a circuit. And if you go over to Keed in Hell mode and you uh, gamble with him, basically what you're looking for is a circlet. 
It took me about 10 goes, but um, I got a three to all skills, uh, all cold skills uh, circlet. So if you're looking for money, what you can do is you can run car runs and you can just pick up armor pieces, which will sell for about 35,000. The circlets and the diadems that drop from gambles usually give two to three uh, to a certain skill, whether for paladins or for sorceresses. Keep going until you find a cold skiller. Three is the maximum that you'll be able to find. Now that we're geared up, it's time to start doing our MF runs, and I like to do them in this order. First off, I'll start a game in Hell Mode. First we're going to do Andariel. Once I get to a chamber, I clear the bottom half and teleport back and forth. Once I've aggroed her and everything's cleared, she's the only target. If I teleport back and forth, left and right, in close range, she'll try and walk to you. She won't use her ranged attack as often, which means that essentially all she's doing is walking. On a good run, I can do the Sendai run without being hit once by her. I then go to Cold Plains and I head over to the Burial Grounds. I go to Clear Mausoleum and the Crypt. Both of those areas have no cold resist inside them. Uh, I ignore the Blood Raven boss, but um, what you're going to do is you're going to head over for the mob packs. Ignore all the individual guys, just go for the packs of mobs that have a boss in the center. Each boss that you kill has a chance of dropping a level 85 item. This is a level 85 area without any cold resistances. While you're passing caskets, open them, but don't go out of your way to chase them down. I have in the past found some pretty nice charms uh, out of those caskets. And if you're passing them, why not? After doing the mausoleum, I then head over to Lower Crust. Here, we're looking for a bonfire. Every bonfire spawns with a hut to the left, with two chests in it, and a hut to the right, with one chest in it. These are super chests. They have the highest chance to drop a high rune. Your magic find percentage doesn't really affect the chance of a high rune dropping from any of these chests. So this is a good method to use when you have low magic find. I've used this method for quite a few years and I've found some pretty tasty high runes out of them. Now, the last boss on this rotation is Mephisto. I see a lot of people bug pulling him and it's not something that I do because I find that when I do bug pull him, I end up pulling the uh, ghouls below uh, and they're all cold immune so it's a bit of a pain in the ass. So what I do is I teleport directly to him and I stay within his vicinity. He's actually really easy to kill. All you need to do is time your attacks with his attacks. When he attacks, you dodge, you attack, he attacks, you dodge, vice versa. Attack, dodge, attack, dodge, attack, dodge. Make sure you don't go too far left or right or above because then you'll pull all the cold immunes. If you stay in that direct area, you should be able to kill him without pulling anyone. It's quite easy. And that's all it really takes, guys. A little bit of basic gear and a bit of practice and you can be doing hell runs in Andariel, Mephisto and the areas that I showed you. You can also do Pindle runs on top of that if you want or you can also do Ancient Tunnels. At the moment the game is in its early stages and everyone is trying to make their wealth and it's very apparent because every single lobby I join is just full of sorceresses and that just goes to show how successful the sorceress is as an early stage MFR. I mean, <laughs> here we are trying to do Ancients with Sorceresses. The only way we managed to do it in the end was uh, by pulling our Mercs out to do it. Um, this is also the other reason why Bail Runs keep failing, because every single Bail Run that I join is just packed with Sorceresses, and the second wave is immune to magic. Well guys, that concludes the guide. I hope it was useful. Obviously, with MFing, you know, it's going to take a while for you to find items. It's going to take several runs. A lot of people will say, stick to one boss, just repeat it, do one boss. But I like to mix things up like I, I, I do in this video, purely because it stops things from getting monotonous. Um, I really hope it was useful. Um, if you've enjoyed it or if it's been useful for you, just drop a like or consider subscribing. And uh, as always, guys, I'll see you next time. Thank you.